Hello everyone, Alan here. I've got a new gadget that I'm going to give a try. This is an ice cube tray. It happens to have uh, three rows of nine um, compartments that I'm going to go ahead and put the paint in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a flip and then I'm going to uh, release the paint out of the tubes and we're going to see what we get. The color choices that we have is our standard white with silicone. We have Artislav Light Magenta, Artislav Naples Yellow, our Lamp Black with silicone, Liquitex, Liquitex Prism Violet, Dalarani Thalo Turquoise, and Soho Thalo Blue. So this uh, canvas we're going to be using is a 12 by 16 and uh, the ice cube tray has already been sprayed with the silicone spray uh, to release the paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to give it a squirt right across through all three of the holes. followed by the light magenta and then the artist left Naples yellow Almost run out of the black. Then trying to use up some paint. Followed by the Liquitex Prism Violet. The Dalarani Thalo Turquoise. And last but not least, the solo Thalo Blue. Okay, right now I've got uh, paint levels are probably about a third of the way up. So I'm going to give that, uh, my goal was to have that uh, approximately about halfway up on these tubes. So I'm going to give it uh, one more round of colors over the three rows of three rows of the holes. Naples yellow and 
and the black. The Cotex Prism Violet. I'm already getting some cells forming inside the tubes. Hopefully they will transfer to the canvas, which they should. The paints are pre-mixed with silicone. The Dalarani, the little turquoise. And the Soho Thalo Blue. Okay, so my cups are pretty much even uh, with the paint about halfway up the tubes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a flip and then I'm going to go ahead and release. This is going to be the tricky part. paint to flow down towards me. So I'm going to elevate it a little there and then I'm just going to release. And then I'm just going to tilt it this way to Bring the paint down the canvas. Now I did not go with any base coat, so it's going just against the canvas itself. Allow this to flow a little more. I'm going to just put some black around. The edge of where the color is. That'll allow it to flow a little more. Just go ahead and tilt that. I still have quite a bit of um, paint down in this area of the canvas. I want to cover up this edge here and get that to flow down off the canvas. Trying not to lose the colors too much. Trying to keep the initial uh, straight lines that came out from the release. to the edges of the canvas.
to flow off the edge of the canvas over in this corner here. I'm not losing too much of my paint because I still have a portion down here towards me that needs to be released also over to the edge of the canvas. a little more of the black on this edge here so I can get it to flow Back to the center. Now we got this one other corner here that we have to take care of over here. there. Try to even out the paint a little. Got some crazy cells going on here. that a torch corners to touch up on. Looks good there. Spin that around and take a look over on this edge. Got an edge here. And that looks pretty good. So let me give you a quick close-up of this. Again, this was done with a 27-hole ice cube tray uh, with a mix of seven different colors, counting the black and the white. And we will see what it looks like once it's dry. Just like to thank you for watching. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, uh, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit like and share.
check out uh, the Amazon shop and my wife's channel uh, for any supplies that you may need for your painting pleasure. Uh, join us every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, we do a live paintings. We also do questions and answers. Um, you can uh, see that on uh, Christina's channel. And uh, if you haven't already done this, uh, check out the Porage Policy in Facebook. And if you would be interested and you uh, like uh, the pouring arts and uh, want to join, go ahead and answer the questions. And uh, we just like to say thank you. Um, and we'll see you on the next one. Good night.